Hello there. Uh, usually I don't stream on Fridays since I have D&D &D tonight, which I still do. Uh, but I wanted to do a quick little stream just because I'm excited to try to get this blood magic thing up and working. So I, I figured out the issue uh, with the apprentice blood orbs. So we didn't actually need to craft like 10 of them. We only needed to make one. Because uh, I guess these don't get used up when you use them in crafting, which I didn't realize. Uh, so now we have just the one, uh, which is awesome. And we use that one to make a these uh, ritual stones. Uh, which these ritual stones, we're going to need to slap down in here. And that's what we use our inscribing tools with all the various elements for. So... Hi, pumpkin. Okay, so we're gonna need these. Yeah, we still have all the other ones that got finished. I didn't realize that until afterwards. <laughs> That's okay, though. I'm sure we'll use them for something. Okay, so for this particular ritual, Hey, buddy. Let me sit over here. There you go. Okay, so for this particular ritual, we need to set up these stones. Eight. Stay over there on the chair, please. Uh, so we need one, two, three, four, five. Pyramid on each side, like this, and then let's see, we do one here, and in each of these, did I make a match master ritual stone yet? No, I did not. Okay. So we still need to make the master. Okay, so we need... Okay, so we do need to... Toss one of these in there. That'll make that. We do need that, right? Because the other ones aren't. Oh, wait, no, Magician's Tier 3. Oop. I have one of those. Wait, I already have one of those in my inventory. Hello, guy with red TARDIS. How you doing? Let's see. So for the master ritual stone, so what? Four ritual stones and obsidian. And we still got five ritual stones left, so we're good there. Uh, so currently, what we are working on is a structure from the blood magic mod, uh, which, is, which is one of the ones in this mod pack. And what this does is, like, we already have, like, th this particular structure is, like, a tier four blood magic altar. And it can go further. Like, once it's fully powered, it'll go all the way out to the edge of these stones here. But currently it's tier four. Um, and we're currently trying to build a way to automatically generate, like, the blood that we need to run the magic. Because right now, in order to fill this altar with blood to be able to craft and do magic with blood magic, I need to basically stand here with a sacrificial knife and stab myself to death, uh, which is kind of a pain. And so the structure we're building down here is a ritual. And once we inscribe all of these stones with the proper elements and activate the ritual, um, basically what we can do is we can spawn mobs down here 
Um, so I, I have a, there's a dust from Astral Sorcery that makes like a darkness area, like a darkness cloud, and like mobs will just spawn in the darkness cloud. And we'll spawn those down here and fill any of like the grass spaces with a dirt that heals undead creatures. So they're going to be constantly healed by the undead dirt and then be constantly taking damage from the ritual and it'll just like generate blood uh, forever, which is cool. Uh, let's see, so we got the obsidian. Yeah, it, it's really cool. It's just one It's just one small mod pack in all of the stuff in this pack, but pumpkin. Hits for you. Yeah, I wanted, I wanted to pop on and do, like, even though the stream will be kind of short, it'll, like, it's only going to end up being, like, probably, like, an hour and 45 minutes, because I have D&D &D tonight with, over on Quick's channel. Um, but I wanted to pop on and get this set up and make sure it works. Okay, so we got Master, Ritual Stone. Nice. Okay, and this sits right in the middle. And then for the elements around the edges, we need... Hold on, let me pull up this picture here I have. Okay, so we need... Let's start with fire. So fire, fire... Fire, 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 okay, water, uh, water, 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 all around the edge, oh, did we use that up? Okay, we're gonna need to make another water inscriber. Hold on. Okay. Turn that into another inscription tool. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. Around and around. Okay. Water, 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 water. Okay. And then. Dusk. Okay. I think dusk is. Let me show you. This is air. Okay. Yeah. This one's air. Air, 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 and air, and then earth, earth, earth. Oh, I was missing one ritual stone. Earth, which means that these ones. Our dusk. Okay, so that should do that. Okay, so now that we have those all in place, before we start the ritual, let's fill, and I might need to make more grave soil. Well, actually, we should be able to, we can probably try to trap them in like the areas where the grave soil's at. do this. So I'll have to be... Okay, we might need to clear this out a little bit more anyways. Because, like, the area of damage that it does is it does, like, a, I think it said, like, a 6 by 6 So, I think most of this, like, middle, maybe a 7 by 7 
So like most of this middle will be area for mobs to take damage in. Probably move this glass in to make the areas. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Hold on. I'm gonna go find my silk touch pick so I don't have to break this glass. Which I'm pretty sure is just in here. Let's see, silk touch pick. reconfigure the glass. Let's see here. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't have to be like fully. Oh yeah, of course, it's Minecraft, everything's cubes. <laughs> That's the way she goes. Okay. The glass is very satisfying. Well, it's very satisfying unless you're accidentally breaking glass. And you, and you know, you didn't break it with silk touch, so you lost whatever it was you built and you had to make some more glass. <laughs> When you do that, that that's that's not quite as satisfying, but this is. <laughs> okay, so we'll do that. Do that. Leave that open for now, just so we can still get in and activate the ritual. Um, let's see. Oh, hello. Whoa. Whoa. Thank you. Did you get anything else, or did it just take that long to get home? Uh, I went to Target and looked around for a bit, and then I went to Caribou because the line at the Starbucks was really long. Oh, yeah. Okay. I got, I got some plants. Some plants? Some plants. Nice. I got... They have some really cute, like, house plants right now, and I wanted to get a couple more, but I only got two. Um, like, fake ones? No. Oh. Real ones. Where are you going to put them? I already put them down. Oh. One is on the bookshelf, and it has, like, these really long, like, kind of curly variegated leaves. Cool. And then the cool. other one is a fern. Oh, okay. So I put the fern where that fake plant was on the um, entryway table, like the one with the mirror above it. Hmm, yeah. The, the fake looking fern I replaced with the real fern, and then put the fake looking fern near the TV. 
and the curly one is on the um, bookshelf. Okay. Both where kitties should not get them. Good. <laughs> Troublesome. The cat who is too dumb to not eat a plant even though it makes him puke. Right. <laughs> okay, but what if I try again? The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Silly boy. I do, I'm just doing a short stream because I wanted to get this built. Not impossible, just very improbable. Okay, we do need a little bit more grave dirt. Okay, I think what we might do is kind of chamber it off. Because if we kind of just make each of these little areas and like put glass on top of these so they can't walk on top of them, they'll just be stuck on the grave dirt. I need to make more. Let's see, what was it for graveyard dirt? Oh yeah, flesh, regular dirt, and bone. Of course! What else would be in graveyard dirt? And I need to get some of this stuff out of my inventory. Okay, so... Rotten flesh... Yeah, it checks out, right? <laughs> Okay, we do need to make, oh wait, wait, oh wait, do I have to grind this into meal? That's right, I need to grind it into meal, that's right. To the crusher. Hi, buddy. He wants a ten. He does. Pumpkin, I can give you a ten to your ear. Oh. <laughs> Pumpkin's like, no bad touch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's that. Dirt. Okay, that should be enough. Is that how it works, pumpkin? You want attention, but but not that attention. Give only only pumpkin approve attention. Yep. Okay, so we got grave soil everywhere. So let's go grab our monster. Well, okay, we should act, well, hold on. We should probably spawn some stuff first and then make sure it works before I close everything off. Okay, so we'll do, we'll spawn some stuff in there. I 
should have, and we put these inscribing tools back in here. I don't need them right now. Should have some nocturnal powder in the astral sorcery chest. Yep, okay. Okay. Mob spawn time. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's because I got a jetpack on. It's right there. <laughs> Very, my outfit is very stupid looking right now due to some thermal padding and stuff. But yeah, it's nice since you can just kind of like hover. Like it's pretty much like a, it's pretty much creative fly. Like the only difference, the only difference between the jetpack and creative fly is that if I don't, like, I, I very slowly go down. It doesn't like stay completely horizontal. But other than that, it's pretty much the same as flying in creative mode. You just have to, you know, have the power to fill it up, which I need to fill it up again here soon, so. Okay, so spawn, mobs. Oops. All right, stuff spawning, good. Okay, don't kill each other. Oh, really? Dang. You're one of the few people that I've talked to that has never played any Minecraft. That I know of. Okay, so you guys should automatically get healed. Okay, and I do need to put down this sound muffler, because otherwise we're going to go insane. Okay, so... Okay. Muffle all sounds. Otherwise, because like if we if we don't have this sound muffler down, basically anywhere anytime we're near here, we're just gonna have constant zombie skeleton noises and the noise of them dying constantly, and it's gonna be maddening. So we don't want that. And I have enough LP in my soul network right now. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Fresh energy flows through the ritual. Okay, they're taking damage, they're getting healed. Perfect, okay, that's exactly what we want. Which means we should be able to see this slowly increasing, yep. Yep, okay, that's slowly increasing, that'll get better when we have all of it up, nice. Insert Anakin, it's working meme. <laughs> it's working! It's working! Finally, God. Okay. This chicken is raw. Huh? This chicken's still raw. It is? Look at it. Oh, what? This one wasn't. I was wondering why the texture seemed off. I thought it was just me. Yeah, this one. Oh, I thought they both were. This one was all done. What the heck? He's eating some of it. No. That's why I don't want any meat anymore. <laughs> Oof. I get sick, it's your fault. I won't blame you. Alright. Oops, don't go in there. Okay, so let's spawn. Stuff there. It's so quiet with the sound muffler on. <laughs> oh, what? That's not an undead mob. That's some other random mob. Alright, well, I'll let you die. Go away.
There we go. We got some zombies and things. All right. So now we just need to top off. Yeah, right. All right. Let me make a hole up here so I can get out. Lock that off. Okay. Cast. Cast. Etho, what are you doing here? Okay, I think I saw a skeleton in that cloud. Oh. Enderman, okay. Alright, well we got... We got some undead things. <laughs> All the random people to get spawned with that particular creature mod. Okay, so how are we going? Oh, it's full. Okay, let's craft something. Oh wait, that won't work. Um, I'm just gonna use oh yeah here let's well actually here let's do let's throw these forgot that my my filter pulls those uh, okay take the filter off okay so let this use let's see if we can measure see how fast this fills back up Well, it seems to be, I mean, this isn't a very high level craft, so it's not like it's using a shit ton right now, but how far does this muffling go? Oh, okay. So pretty much just right under there. Perfect. Okay. That's awesome. And it seems like we're filling up fast enough that it, at least for this level of crafting, it's keeping it pretty steady it's like maybe losing a little bit over time but I mean we have like these particular runes right here that I've put into this these like make it so we get more blood from them when they take damage through this ritual So that is probably helping a lot. And that's probably already back full, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Sweet. All right. So that is automated now. And we don't have to worry about that anymore. Blood is blood. And these guys are just going to live in eternal torment under here in the well of suffering. What does he do? Awesome. Okay, so let's see. What else do we need to make? Oh, yeah, we need to make an alchemy table. Let's see, stone, wood, gold. Two, three. Two, 
two. And gold. And what else? Oh, we have blaze rod. Wait, do I have those? Okay, cool. I have to go blaze farming if we need more of those. We'll see. Okay, so that can still stay there. So there, blaze rod, wood, stone, alchemy table. This looks like it takes up two s spots. Let's see how this looks. does. Uh, I guess place it this way. Okay, that's fucking cool. Look at the modeling on that. That is really nice. Very, very cool. Uh, let's see, what else did I need to make? I found this website that's got like a comprehensive guide to like this blood magic mod, which is really handy because a lot of the other like wiki places about it are kind of eh. Like they're pretty much just like you, know, you look up the block and it's like it is that block, and it's like okay, great. Um, what do I do with it, and how do I get it? <laughs> it doesn't really explain anything, and like. You know, on the, like the mod maker, I appreciate the effort. So like, they have, you know, like with a lot of these kind of technical mods or magical mods, they have like a book in game that goes over the stuff. But instead of just like telling you how it works, like they actually wrote the book like it was written by some like arcane scientist. So it's like. It doesn't really have any like diagrams or anything particular. It just kind of wordly explains everything, which is great and cool, like style points wise, but kind of a pain when you're trying to figure out how stuff works. Um, but this is pretty nice. Okay, so we got that set up. We got the blood, we got the blood altar. We got. Let's see. Got our sigil. Incense altar. What's that? <coughs> Cobblestone, charcoal, and stones. Okay. charcoal if we're going to need to do more of that. Okay. Uh, charcoal. All right. Incense altar. have more chiseled stone. Alright, let's put the incense altar like right here. incense altar. If you are over the incense altar, it should tell you 
Oh, I see up in the top right corner. Current tranquility is zero, and your bonus is 20%. And if we take our... Oh, yeah, the dagger's, like, glowing now. That's cool. So what does this do if we go stab ourselves with it? Oh, jeez, that took like all of our health <laughs> at once. So it does. It removes 90% of your health the first time you use it. But it will also give an additional 20% LP per heart. So at the base with 10 hearts, it would take 9 and give you 2160 LP instead of 1800 LP. Wow, okay, that's really cool. Well, that's nice. It looks like we can only do it like every 20 seconds, so you can't like constantly. Well, I mean, now that you'd have to you'd have to still like heal yourself in between. It'd have to wait that long to be able to do it anyways, but oops. Let's see, we have the Incense Altar. There's all the various alchemy arrays, but most of these we won't need to use because we already have other technology that does those for us. Okay, upgrade the Blood Altar, which we did. Hey, Frida. Huh. Wooden paths. What are these? Oh, okay. So it looks so maybe that it not is not the best spot for the incense altar because it looks like there's so just like we have upgrades to the blood altar that are making this larger and larger. I guess there are also upgrades to the incense altar that makes it larger and larger. And we need more space. All right, so let's pick that. Let's pick these back up. It looks like I might need to move these off a ways. Oh, I'm so glad we got that automated. Ah, oh, that's so nice. Let's see. Okay, so. So any wood and a blood orb. Which planks do we have the most of? Those? Okay. All right, let's see how this goes. I think we need a little bit more. How do these look? Okay, so they look like that. We can also craft them into tiles, which look like yeah, we want we want tiled. That looks better. Okay. 
So it looks like we set up our Okay, so we want to let's see. Incense, altar, blood magic. Oh, dang. Okay. So the incense altar also gets very large. Gets up to a 21 by 21. Damn. Whoa, why am I nauseous? Why am I nauseous? Oh. Oh, I think the ritual used up all my LP. Oh, okay. Jesus. Okay, so that doesn't, that can't constantly run, but. How do we stop that? Does that stop the ritual? Oh, geez. Okay, so we need to like constantly. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, hold on. Didn't realize this happened. Let's see. Soul network. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> I did not realize this would happen. Okay. Ah, okay. So this should do. Uh, is my solar network filling up now? Okay. So that's filling up my solar network. Is this still running right now? Yes. Alright, so do I just need to like leave that on? Like do I does it still fill me up? So let's see, right now we're at 16288. If I go over here. Oh. Okay. So as long as that's on the altar. Filling up my soul network. Okay, so as long as we leave that there, 
The ritual should keep running. The blood should keep filling back up. It doesn't look like it's... Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's coming back too fast to fill it, to take it out. Okay. Cool. Okay. Phew! Okay. So we're going to get stuck in nausea mode there for a bit. Jetpack. There we go. Much better. Okay, so let's see. Back to the incense altar. Okay, so the incense altar gets all the way up to 21 by 21. This mod has very big structures. Let's measure that out. If we say, well, I guess if we put this right next to here, we can take these trees down. So let's see. One. Oh, wait, how big? How big was this? Was this twenty-one by twenty-one as well? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, this is 23. Okay, so it can be one smaller on each side. Okay, so it should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and then out this way, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, so now we just need to line this up over on the side. Definitely need to clear some trees. Good. Okay. Let's clear some junk out of our inventory here. Go find my axe. Okay, I don't need glass anymore. Lay off the glowstone for now. Okay. 
Oh, wait, 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 I know where it's at. There it is. Indeed. I bet you must be feeling so good after, like, a year of crappy ears. Thanks, saplings. We'll probably put some of these watermelons back. <laughs> takes a whole chunk. Okay. All right, we have incense altar space. should line up with this. So we put this in the middle, and we put these around it. These particular blocks don't matter. And then we take our wooden paths that we made.
Okay. So now this should be the next tier up of Incense Altar. I'm not quite sure how I tell, but... Okay, so there's other tiers of paths that we use to fill out the rest. Okay, and looks like there's different types of tranquility. So, basically, with the upgrades for this incense altar, it looks like there's a few different types of paths that we build out in these four directions. So there's these, there's like stone paths, there's obsidian paths, which we need a higher tier um, altar to craft. And then the corners of this we can kind of fill with whatever but whatever type block they are give different tranquility values so there's like crops lava leaves flowing water interesting okay Okay, and that's still staying full, and our soul network is maxed out right now. That's still running. Okay, so th this is how we keep that running. We just have to make sure that, that there is one of those in there. And depending on our level of blood orb, that depends on how much stays in our soul network, it looks like. Uh, so since that one's a magician's, we have 150k. Better ones will get us better. Cool, 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 cool. So, let's see. We have our alchemy table. Let's see, we've got our magician blood orb. Okay, so we can do Okay, so that we need a master for. That's any stone. Okay, we do we do have the stuff to make a master orb, so we might as well switch out to that since we can. Blood shard. Okay. Because now we have the bound sword, we can get the blood shards back without too much difficulty. Okay, so we'll let that craft. I look more into how this works. Okay, so we can make stone brick paths, which give us more room for tranquility blocks. Which I haven't quite we'll figured that out. Let's see. Sigild. Demon Crucible. Demon Crucible releases will into the aura. Each chunk has an aura, and each chunk holds up to 100 will. Interesting. Hello, Drill Guard. Welcome, welcome. Okay, there's our Master Blood Orb. And actually, we might as well just leave that there for the moment. So I think our. How does our network look? 
Oh yeah, that's filling up just fine from that ritual. Sweet. Awesome. Okay. So what do we do with these demon crucibles? Let's see, so. Oh, cool. Okay. So from what I was finding the other day, so like for these sentient swords for like repairing them. Like, I thought it just used the demonic will, but it uses these, like, demonic crystals. Which is what we do with, like, the demon crucible, because the demon crucible turns the will crystals that we have into will in the aura space around us. And then we put demon crystallizers in that same aura space and it will draw will out of the aura and form them into crystals huh so this is how we this is how we farm will it looks like Okay, what does it take to make, make these things? Let's see, demon... Okay, that's the crystallizer. Demon pylon. I don't think that's... Holy crap. Okay, so demon crucible. We need a cauldron, chiseled stone, lapis, and a platinum ingot. And at least a common gem. And then this one we need a Hellfire Forge, Chiseled Stone, Stained Glass, and a Mend Will and Ingot. That's expensive. Okay. Interesting. Huh. Alright, so we may need to... Hmm. Do we want to get that started here now, or do I want to... I do got to go here soon since I have D&D &D tonight and then I'll be over on quick stream doing D&D &D with him. Uh, I guess let's get Yeah, let's put some of this stuff away. Wood away, sapling. We get stone. Out of here. And craft you. Gets us the stone brick path, which looks like that. How does this one look? Okay, yeah, I do like the worn stone brick one a little bit more. Okay, so the worn brick goes around here. Oh, the stone and the worn stone are different. Oh, okay. Okay. Hold on. that wrong. Okay, so we do need worn herb. Do need this stone. Okay. So let's see, with the wooden... Nine by nine. 
So a nine. Okay, so this one can only be too deep. So do that. Okay, so two on all sides. And then the worn stone is 17 by 17, so 13. 14, 15, 16, 17. This one's 2 by 2 as well. Oops. And the last tier is obsidian, which we can't make the obsidian paths quite yet since our blood altar needs to go up another tier. In order to go up another tier, that's going to be a bit of work because we need nether stars. Okay, so this is as high as that can go. I mean, at least have the space for the tranquility. So it looks like our best. So for ma maximum tranquility bonus, it looks like you want to have one quadrant that is lava. Regular lava or flowing lava? Okay, you want just lava. And then one quadrant that is like buckets of life essence, I guess. Interesting. And a quadrant that is all a netherrack on fire. What is that? Is that farmland? Oh, okay. So some kind of like crop. So like wheat, carrots, whatever else. Okay. Huh. So we're gonna need to fill I need to fill this in a bit. this all filled one below just so we can fill it up or is it one below yeah it's one below okay so this all needs to get dug up too rush because we don't need that anymore. Okay, needs some order. I 
already got the gold that was under there. I'll leave that open for the moment so I can remember to mine that gold later, but I'm not really too concerned about the malachite. I also should make another, should make a chest to put over here for all this blood magic stuff since we're starting to get a lot of items from that mod. Okay, all filled in. A little bit more. And we'll probably call it good for today since I got D&D &D coming up. At least we got this ritual working, which is awesome. Once we figure out how to automate will farming that will be nice so i think like the main the main reason we did all of this with blood magic is there is a particular ritual uh, which i think is this one Yeah, there's a ritual called Serenade of the Nether that, like, infinitely spawns lava blocks. And we can use it with a, like, steam turbine to generate steam power. And, like, a lot of steam power. And I plan on using that to generate... Because I'm going to move, like, machines and stuff into, like, a factory under there, which we'll, we'll build eventually. But... I wanted to figure out that power gen thing first, and we needed to get our blood magic up to be able to do that ritual in the first place. So, this is all for that. All, all for that one ritual. <laughs>
this all in a little prettier later. Not so pretty right now, but we'll get that. We'll get that later. Just use up these last few blocks. Okie dokie. Alright, since it's basically seven, I got D, D soon. We'll call that good for the moment. Very short stream, I know, but I wanted to get that out of the way. See if there's anybody I know who's on right now. It's a little earlier than usual. Not really. Okay. Well, that's all right. Well, Quick's going to be streaming here over on DM Quicksilver here in about 30 minutes or so. I'll be over there along with the other people in our group doing some D&D, so I'll be over there. Feel free to come join us in a little bit. Um, I'd rate him if we were starting already, but that's all right. So we'll see you for now and pick up whether it's on this or something else next time. See yous.